Who could forget the rush of beating your high score in Pac-Man or the thrill of finally rescuing the princess in Super Mario Brothers? Ah, the 80s. A time when video games were just starting to make their mark in the world. It was an era of innovation, a time when pixels and 2D graphics were the height of technological advancement. The games of this time may have been simple by today's standards, but their impact is undeniable. Remember Pac-Man? Released in 1980, it was a game that captivated millions with its simple yet addictive gameplay. Maneuvering the little yellow circle around the maze, gobbling up pellets and avoiding the ghostly adversaries. The charm of its simplicity and the challenge it posed made it a worldwide phenomenon. And then there was Super Mario Brothers, the game that introduced us to the iconic duo of Mario and Luigi. Released in 1985, it was a game changer, literally. It laid the groundwork for future platform games and established a whole new gaming universe that is still beloved today. The thrill of navigating through the Mushroom Kingdom, overcoming obstacles, battling villains, and the ultimate goal of rescuing Princess Peach from the clutches of Bowser is a memory etched in the minds of many. These games, along with others of their time, were not just sources of entertainment. They were the pioneers that defined the video game industry. They laid the foundation for the future of gaming, paving the way for the complex narratives, realistic graphics, and immersive gameplay that we see today. The 80s was a time of experimentation and excitement in the gaming world. The era saw video games transition from being a novelty to becoming a significant part of popular culture. They started conversations, sparked imaginations and created a sense of community among gamers. From the simple 2D graphics to the complex narratives, the journey of video games is nothing short of an epic saga. And this saga, my friends, is one that continues to unfold with every new game, every new console, and every new generation of gamers. The pixels may have evolved, but the magic of gaming remains the same. As we stepped into the 90s, games like Sonic the Hedgehog and Street Fighter II took the gaming world by storm. It was a time when the air was buzzing with the sound of dial-up modems and the smell of freshly unpacked game cartridges. The 90s marked an era where gaming was not just a pastime, but an integral part of our culture. Let's talk about Sonic the Hedgehog first. With its blazing speed and vibrant graphics, Sonic was a game that pushed the boundaries of what was possible in gaming. For the first time, players were not just moving, they were rushing, dashing through loops and dodging obstacles at breakneck speed. It was exhilarating, it was thrilling, and it was something that hadn't been seen before. Sonic introduced the concept of speed in gaming, a concept that is still very much prevalent in modern games. On the other hand, we had Street Fighter II, a game that revolutionized the way we looked at combat strategy. It wasn't about mindlessly mashing buttons anymore, it was about learning the right combinations, predicting your opponent's moves and outsmarting them. Street Fighter II was a game of skill, and it brought forth the idea of competitive gaming. It fostered a sense of rivalry and competition that was hitherto unseen. But it wasn't just about the games themselves. It was about what they represented. They were a beacon of innovation, pushing the limits of what was possible in a video game. The 90s was a time of change and growth, and these games were at the forefront of that change. They challenged us, thrilled us, and most importantly, they brought us together. They fostered a sense of community and camaraderie that is still very much alive in the gaming world today. These games not only enhanced our gaming experience, but also fueled our competitive spirit. They were not just games, they were experiences that shaped a generation. And for that, we will always remember the 90s as the golden era of gaming. With the turn of the century, we witnessed a revolution in gaming with the advent of 3D games like The Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time and Final Fantasy VII. Imagine stepping out of a world where everything was flat, where your sense of depth was confined to a two-dimensional plane, a world where you were limited to scrolling left or right, up or down, and then, in a blink of an eye, you're catapulted into a realm where you can explore in any direction you wish. That's the leap we took when we transitioned from 2D to 3D gaming. The arrival of 3D gaming was a game-changer, Pun intended. 
It was like the shift from black and white movies to colour. It opened up a whole new world of possibilities. Suddenly we could explore vast landscapes, dive into deep oceans and climb towering mountains. The virtual world was no longer just a flat surface, it was a fully immersive environment. These 3D games, like The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, allowed us to venture into the land of Hyrule in a way we never had before. We could delve into the story, engage with the characters, and truly feel like we were part of the game. And then there was Final Fantasy VII, a game that took storytelling to a whole new level. The intricate plot, the engaging characters, the breathtaking visuals, it was a narrative masterpiece that was only made possible by the power of 3D gaming. But it wasn't just about the visuals. The shift to 3D also brought with it a new level of interactivity. We could now interact with the environment in ways that were simply not possible in 2D games. We could pick up objects, open doors and even change the camera angle to get a better view of our surroundings. This added a whole new layer of depth to the gameplay, making the gaming experience all the more immersive and engaging. These games not only changed our perception of video games, but also raised the bar for future games. They were pioneers, trailblazers that paved the way for the immersive, interactive and visually stunning games that we enjoy today. Fast forward to today, and we're in the midst of a gaming renaissance with games like Fortnite and Overwatch. Yes, you heard that right. This isn't just any renaissance, it's a gaming renaissance. An era where the lines between reality and digital fantasy are blurred. And where the gaming world is not just a space for entertainment, but a realm of endless possibilities. We've seen a surge of popularity in multiplayer games, with players from all corners of the globe coming together to compete, cooperate and create. These games have become platforms for social interaction where friendships are formed, alliances are brokered and rivalries are born. Battle Royale games, in particular, have taken the gaming world by storm. Games like Fortnite and Apex Legends, where it's a fight to the last man standing, have captured the imaginations of millions. They've brought about a sense of urgency and excitement that keeps players coming back for more. But these modern marvels haven't forgotten their roots. They've artfully incorporated elements from past games, creating a beautiful blend of nostalgia and innovation. The pixelated characters of yesteryears have evolved into lifelike avatars, but the essence of gaming, the thrill, the challenge, the joy, remains the same. Think of Fortnite's building mechanics, a nod to the creative freedom of Minecraft, or the fast-paced, team-based action of Overwatch, reminiscent of the classic shooter games like Quake and Doom. It's a tribute to the rich history of gaming, a nod to the pioneers of the past, and a celebration of how far we've come. Today's games are more than just games, they're experiences, they're communities, they're platforms for creativity, for competition, for camaraderie. They're a testament to the power of technology and the limitless potential of human imagination. So whether you're dodging bullets in Call of Duty, building forts in Fortnite, or exploring the vast universe of No Man's Sky, remember that you're not just playing a game. You're part of a revolution. You're part of history. These games are a testament to how far we've come in our gaming journey, from the 8-bit graphics of Pac-Man to the immersive 3D world of Fortnite. As we look forward to the future of gaming, we can't help but feel a sense of nostalgia. In the coming years, we see the gaming industry forging ahead into new frontiers with virtual reality and augmented reality technologies. Imagine strapping on a headset and being instantly transported into the worlds we once navigated with just a joystick. Imagine the adventures, the quests and the challenges becoming even more immersive, more real. Virtual reality, or VR, is set to bring our childhood dreams to life. The promise of VR lies in its ability to create immersive experiences where we don't just play a game, we live it. We could be stepping into the pixelated shoes of our favourite characters, exploring worlds that were once flat and confined to a screen, now rendered in breathtaking three dimensions. But the future isn't just about VR. Augmented reality, or AR, is another exciting frontier. AR adds a layer of virtual elements to our real world, creating a blend of reality and fantasy. 
Imagine playing your favourite platformer in your own backyard or turning your living room into a battlefield for an epic strategy game. AR brings the magic of gaming into our everyday spaces, making our childhood memories part of our daily lives. These technologies not only revolutionise how we play games, but also how we interact with them. They offer us the chance to revisit our cherished gaming memories in a whole new light. Imagine re-experiencing the thrill of completing that tricky level. But this time you're not just controlling the character, you are the character. But as we step into this brave new world of gaming, we do so with a sense of reverence for the past. Every pixel, every sprite, every line of code in the games of our future carries with it the spirit of the games that came before. The games that made us laugh, cry and brought us together. The games that made us gamers. As we continue to push the boundaries of gaming, we carry with us the memories of the games that started it all.